Hey, what's up? It's Anthony from After the Burial, and you're watching Worship and Tribute Nerd. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Michael. Some call me Rickshaw. I'm here with Anthony Notermasso yeah, from After good. the Burial. We're here in Dallas at Southside Ballroom. How are you doing? I'm good, dude. Good. Really good. It's good to see you. Yeah, you guys you were too. awesome. Thanks, dude. And uh, how's the tour been? Uh, fucking awesome. Really good. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been good. It's been like you know the rooms are full and like we'll we'll be playing and every night I ask people like how many how many of you are seeing us for the first time and like a shit ton of hands go up. Yeah. And that's why we that's why we do these tours is because we want to play for people that have never heard us or have never had the opportunity to hear us. Right. And we're getting to do it, and so far the like response has been really good. So. Right. I saw a lot of people with After the Burial shirts. So we were uh, we play. I can't remember where we played, but we were, we got some food and we we're walking back as the show was ending, and I saw this like fifty something year old dad with the After the Burial shirt, and I was like, got him. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, we totally yeah. got that guy. Yeah, definitely. Whenever you start seeing dads with all your shit on, you're like, all right, yeah. the word's gonna spread fast. Yeah, yeah for real. But yeah, we'll talk about, dude, we talk about all sorts of stuff. Um, right now, like, uh, the NHL playoffs are on. Right. So, like, I'm, a, you know, the band's from Minnesota, so the, Trent and Dan are big hockey fans, and I'm from the Bay Area, so I'm a big San Jose Sharks fan. My Sharks are in the playoffs, so, like, we've been talking hockey. Um, you know, there's music stuff, but a lot of it's just, like, most of the time, you're just hanging out with your buddies and, like, talking about fishing hunting like right. whatever whatever we're nice. into like skateboarding video games like we're all big in the video games nice. so like, uh, what's the newest game that you play um right now like well because i'm on tour i'm kind of limited but when i'm at home i play um i'm like pc so i play on uh i built my own pc so like i'll play um i play apex legends a lot oh nice yeah. um i have two uh two squad mates back home uh stulo and uh, and and Omar, they're uh, two buddies of mine, and those are my 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 team back home. It's like we always get on. We have like our group tags, and it's like we we run we run some good games, so it's nice. a lot of fun. Are right, you read comic books at all? I haven't in a long time, but I try to like stay current with like all the movies. Like my daughter, I take my daughter to all the like the Marvel movies, even the DC movies. Like we we like the comic movies. It's kind of like father-daughter time right. you know like my wife's just like you guys go like you guys awesome. like that stuff so we try to stay current like so the youtube's called worship and tribute um what would be somebody that you worship personally and you would like to give a shout out and talk about why you might like them well as far as music goes there's like a big influencer of mine uh dustin kensrew he's uh the singer of thrice yeah um and henry rollins because i used to read a lot of henry rollins books and I've been to a bunch of his spoken word stuff, and he's just like the way he writes is like so influential. Uh, it like it's it like inspires me to be a better writer. Same with Dustin Kensru. It's like the music's completely different from what we're doing, but it's like so the lyrics are like what matter, you know. So it's like those are two cool cool people of mine. Like if I had any like idol, like like I that those would probably be the closest. Um, I actually got to meet Dustin Kensrew on our last tour we did because we played the rave. Mm -hmm. You played there, right? Yeah. In Milwaukee. And we played one of the venues and they were up above us playing the other one. Oh, right. And he just so happened the shower was next to our green room and he was coming out. And I was just like, hey. And I asked him a question about a song. And I never, you, I didn't want to meet him. Yeah. You don't want to talk shop with the guy that you like look up yeah. to. You know, you're like. Mm. And I didn't want to meet him. It, because a part of me was like afraid he was going to be a dickhead. Right. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. man, I, lo I look up to this person. I don't want it to be ruined by him being a dickhead. Exactly. But he was so cool. And like, hey, I'm just like, and he was, we talked about the song and what I had thought the song was doing was exactly what it was doing, what they were going for. And I was like, that's really cool. Awesome. Is, you know, so it was like, it was really neat. Uh, so April was a really big month uh, for like nerd shit. Um, so we got Endgame. Game of Thrones and Mortal Kombat 11. Uh -huh. Which one would you pick as the best? Um, it's hard. Endgame is because it's like 
you've been following, like, since Iron Man, you've been following this, like, long, long journey, you know, right. like, years and years and years. Like, if you think about it, this is, like, years of your life that you've been following something. Right. But, like, excuse me. And yeah. then, like, the kids, like, the younger people in the movie, you see them grow up. You yeah, you've seen I mean? them like, grow up, and, like, but then there's Game of Thrones, too, which is kind of the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> and, like, I love Game of Thrones. I always, like, I always tell my wife, I'm like, hey, you gotta watch Game of Thrones. And she's like, I'm, I will, I want to. And I'm like, it's the best thing on TV. It's right. the best thing. Like, That's I don't, what I tell people, too. Yeah. Like, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that, like, sometimes hype makes me not want to go with something. Hmm. But you really can't deny that that's probably the best show to ever be made, you know? Sometimes when a song is good, the song is just good. Yeah. You know, like, um, and you can't deny that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if something is good, like, or like a team is good, a sports team is good, you can't deny it. Mm -hmm. The proof is right there. Like, you can be ignorant and no, I'm not going (laughs) to see. You know, it's like, you can do that all you want, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's still good. You know? That's true. You you play Mortal Kombat at all? I don't. Um, our sound guy just bought the new one, oh, and really? he's like stoked on it. And the guys in Vane, they're all stoked on it too. Nice. So um, that's the only games I never got into. Like I was big into big into FPS. I was a big World of Warcraft nerd. Um, like when like I played uh, Burning Crusade, like the Wrath of the Lich King, which is like these expansions that came out. Um, I was like big into that, but. Um, never got into like the fighting games. As, as I got older, I got more. I got less interested in them. It's, right. They're still fun. Yeah, but. yeah. I always, I've always been a fighting game kind of guy. Really? Yeah. So like, I, I never got, I never got into first person shooters. Uh huh. So everybody would always be like, "Oh man, come on, you don't play." And I'm like, "Let's play some Mortal Kombat, dude." Yeah. I was All right. Play some Street Fighter. You I know got a question mean? for you. What's up? Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Mortal Kombat for me. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. that's how I was too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat, because that's what I used to play when I did, and right. it's like everyone was like, "Oh, Street Fighter, Street Fighter." I'm like, "Yeah, but there's no blood." <laughs> <laughs> like once they started getting the big combos and shit, I was like, eh, "I can't do that." Like I want to be, I want to outwit you, not out uh, memorize you on like patterns. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. It's like when I play FPS, it's like, like you know, oh, I'm going to go this way, but I'm actually going up this way, and so you think I'm going that way, and now I'm behind you, and you're dead. Right. You know, like, I yeah. outsmarted you, right. you know? So it's like, I don't know. And plus, it's that rush, you know? It's like, <laughs> man, there's so many times where, like, I'd be playing Apex Legends, which is, like, an FPS game, and, like, I'm playing with my buddies, and we're, like, literally, like, behind you, behind you! Third party, third party, third party! And it's like, so we're fighting one team, and there's another team coming, and as soon as that team's down, we kill both teams, and we're like, third party, third party, and there's another team coming, it's just like, this crazy insane, and finally, like, we get a break for second, we're like, holy shit, that was insane, we have like, 27 kills between the three of us, you know, yeah. it's like, insane, so, I, that's what I li- live for, that's like, the best. Right. Is there anything that you could think of, like, being in like, 8th grade, drinking Surge, playing a game, like, what would be your... You know what I think back to, so it's not that far back, because like, yeah, I played games when I was... Like, you know, since Nintendo came out. But when I think back to anything like that, my mind immediately goes to World of Warcraft. Because, like, I was still, like, you know, I was, like, in my teens. But, like, I wasn't... That's, like, the most grindy game I ever played. Like, I would be up to, like, 3 in the morning, like, listening to music. And, like, you know, like, have, have, like, my snacks to the side. It was, yeah. like, straight out of uh, um, South Park, you know? Right. Like, <laughs> you know, it's just, like, Man. so that was that was my life, dude. And so, like, I would, that would probably have to be it was when I played World of Warcraft. And this is during, like, the people who play World of Warcraft that are going to watch this is during Burning Crusade. And that's, everyone that played back then will know what I'm talking about. That was the best time for World of Warcraft. Right. So, I actually collect action figures, and uh, every time I'm going to do one of these interviews, I'm going to give one of my buddies a figure. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you told me that you like Spider-Man a lot, so I brought you the Spider-Man figure. Dude, no way, man. <laughs> so, thanks for the interview, man. Dude, that's so sick. Hell yeah. Dude, thanks, man. <laughs> <Come here. laughs> Oh, right.
Sing in the pain.